Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today let's discuss about recruitment in Odo 14 community. So recruitment is an important task for any organization. The identification and selection of high, highly potential manpower to become part of organization is done under recruitment process. So it helps to assess the potential quality and skills of an employee. So it helps the business to find the most suitable candidate for a job. Such a well-designed recruitment process can ensure the best hands-on job in the company. So it is a multi-level process. That is, recruitment is a multi-level process. And it can be simplified and made quicker process if the company is depending on an ERP solution. So Odo offers a best solution to manage recruitment process. So in HRMS, we have a separate module to manage recruitment of employees. So, okay. So we have a recruitment module. So it's already installed. Now, from here we can select that recruitment. Okay, so we can manage recruitment activities. So when you open recruitment module, you can see different job positions configured. So you can see here consultant, experience developer, and we can see uh, what all job positions are web published on website. So just enable this job description. So you can see it is published. It can be published. Okay. So for each job position, you can see the total number of new applications, total persons uh, that is uh, to recruit. Then total number of applications. Then we can also mark that is add job position to favorite favorites. And here we can find filter to view all my job positions. Then in position in recruitment that is can what view all job position in recruitment. Then we can group this job position by department, status, and company. Okay, so let's create a new job position. Okay, so we can see job position. No applications are added. Now we can, and it's possible to publish this on website. Now, if you click on the three dots, we can edit this. Uh, job position and configure the job position and we can also change the color of the job position so let's edit the job position and add job description in recruitment so here we can restrict this job position published on certain website specific website and we can set this department Okay, so if you go to external link, you can see the department details. Here we can set parent department, manager of the department. And here we can set the expected new employees. So I want five employees. Then we can set an interview form. So here I'm setting recruitment form. And if you wish to uh, view the uh, recruitment form you can just click on display interview form then here we can set a recruiter so i'm setting michelet me as a recruiter then here we can attach documents see the total applications so currently there are no applications and we can view uh, we can track it then publish it to website so i'm saving the, this job position and we can go to website And publish it on website so you can see this published okay so visitor can view the web uh, job description and it can apply from here okay 
so for person with the link apply for the job can okay, have to provide the his name email id phone number then can browse the resume and submit this form so the job application can be applied from the website so here we can see the application is sent to michelin admin because the michelin admin was set as the was set as a recruiter of the job now if you check our recruitment module You can see one new application and what application. Okay, so you can click on the application, and here we can see different stages of uh, recruiting a person. Uh, so here we can see initial qualification, first interview, second interview, contract proposal, and you can see one stage it is folded that is contract sign. Okay, so from here we can. Review the person. So we can move him to first interview if he qualifies initial initial stage. Then if this person qualifies first interview, we can move to second interview. Okay. And contract proposal. We can propose contract to this person. And if you found that this person is ready to work for company, and if this person is interested to work in company, you can move to contract sign. So if the employee signed the contract, you can move to contract sign. Okay, then here we can open this application, and it is possible to create employee. And we can also find option to uh, for scheduling meetings and starting interviews. Okay, so from here we can create employ employee. Okay, now we can see form. So here we can add tags, work details, department manager can be seen here, and here we can attach resume skills. Work information, private information, then settings related to human resource management, and okay. From here we can save it, and can create new contract for this employee. Okay, so we'll be discussing about uh, employee management and contracts in a separate video. That is employee management module. So we can discuss about that later. Okay, so come back to application. And you can see now zero new application. Okay. Then here we can also configure job position, and when you go to configuration settings, you can find some options like publish available jobs on websites. So it is already enabled. Then we can use interview forms during recruitment process. So we can create interview forms. So if you click on this interview forms, you can create and configure more interview forms. Which can be used during recruitment process. So you can see already we have some uh, interview forms. So this is created using survey module. So we'll be discussing about survey module later. So using the survey module, you can create forms. Okay, so here you can see some recruitment form. Okay. Now. 
you can also see option to configure refuse recent that is it is also possible to refuse an employee so if a new application came and you can uh, reject or refuse an employee for example if the employee doesn't fit the job requirements you can refuse or if an applicant gets a better offer he can refuse application then here we can configure departments so you can see the departments only if we have then we can uh, configure activity types so already we have email call meeting like this way activities so when you open you can see the actions to perform default user default summary then we can trigger next activity recommend some activities and using this activity type we can schedule activities so activity can be call meeting so in the case of recruitment we can make call or interview with the applicant okay so we can also view uh, applications by job positions uh, that we have already seen then all applications can be viewed so here we can view all applications in different stages then here we have a reporting to view recruitment analysis okay so from here we can select different measures like probability proposed salary delay to close delay to close then color index like this way and here we can filter this recruitment analysis by new recruitment ongoing refused then we can group this recruitment by responsible person jobs department stage like this way okay so that's how we manage recruitment process using order 14 if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business drop your request to odo at cyprocess dot com.